Now it's time for us to talk about fathers because they are truly special. They act not only as our parents, but also take on the mantle of mentor, guide, friend, and cheerleader. Fathers are pillars of strength, a one-stop solution to all problems, and they deserve to be celebrated, and we want to today make them feel special. It's also important to note that the first known Father's Day service occurred in Fairmont, West Virginia, on the 5th of July, 1908, after hundreds of men died in the worst mining accident in U.S. history. Now, what does Father's Day mean to men? It's a big question. How much love do fathers really get on a day like this? We're going to be bringing in our guest, Jude Thomas Dawam, who's also a journalist and a proud father. Welcome to the show, Mr. Dawam. Thank you so much for having me. Great to have you. Let's start by asking, you know, for you, what does fatherhood mean to you? Until I became a father, I didn't know what it was because I used to think that it was my father's job to do everything. And uh, fatherhood for me is just uh, just being that lifeline to someone and being support and supportive. And also just being there for someone you know doesn't really, is not able to understand how the world works. That's basically what, what it is for me right now. Let's talk about the Father's Day celebration this year, Jude. Uh, would you yeah. say that this year has been the most outpouring or the most wholesome Father's Day celebration? Because prior to this year, we've had complaints about of men saying that we, are, we have 2,555 Women's Day celebration in a year. I agree. So, I agree. <laughs> so do you feel that this Father's yeah. Day celebration was enough and wholesome? Before I ask you what I want to ask. Okay, yes, I think this year's own was fantastic. Because for the first time, my children's school, they gave me, they gave me a mug. They, I, I, I went there and they, they had a lot for me. My wife was a little bit, she allowed me to get away with a lot of things. So yes, I think this year, <laughs> people are beginning to, to be aware and to take Father's Day a little bit seriously. Yes. Absolutely. All right, now let's talk about the importance of fatherhood because the unit of a family, you know, the society, family is the smallest unit of the society. Every society starts off with a family. How important is the role of a father? Starting with you, what would you say was the importance of your father in your life? And how have you been able to translate same to your child or children? So uh, the importance of my father was he taught me that the world is not fair. So you have to, as he's a military man, so he taught me to be tough. He, uh, that's something that my mom wouldn't tell me. My mom would allow me just uh, take advantage of, if anybody insults me, ah, my mom would say, don't worry, cry. My dad would say, stand there, deal with it. Uh, the world is not as perfect as you, as you think it should be. So uh, my father played the role of the bad guy, which of course I see every day in the society, and I have to deal with and I have to be good with them. And I've come to love my father and I appreciate him for all the toughness that he has put in me. Because I think at some point you get to this level where you want to quit, but you remember that... Uh, there was that you were scared of at some point and yet you love him unconditionally so uh that is where i'm standing for my children right now i'm standing in that bridge where they understand that life is sweet but life is also tough like bitter leaf soup now you know before <laughs> you make the bitter leaf soup you go wash the bitter leaf first you know all of those things and then when you start eating it it's sweet so the you have to pass through all of that uh, toughness. Their mom can be very emotional and she'll give them all that emotional support. I am here to give them a the, the emotional support, but of course, also give them the truth, show them the truth about the world as well. And that's where I stand in for my children. Well, I, I want to you know, ask about you know, how dads can be better appreciated in the society. Um, you know, we live in a, in a men as scum society. We live in a society where you know, a lot of men, you know, have to, you know, hold on to their emotions and their feelings. And when, when a man is hurt, you know, nobody really cares. Um, you know, the, the attention really... Thank you. The attention really <laughs> focuses on, you know, a woman's pain and a woman's emotions, you know. And if, I mean, if you looked at, you know, what, why the world, you know, or seemed like the whole world was behind Johnny Depp, it felt like, oh, for the first time, you know, a man seems to be getting some type of support, you know, which is very, very uncommon. Um, so, so talk about, you know, you know, the struggles of, you know, being a man in society, being a father in society and how fathers can be better appreciated. I think uh, fathers will be appreciated if it starts from the boys. You know, growing up, we we're taught to be tough. We we're said, well, if you if you if you show emotion, you're weak, you're not a man, you're not strong enough. 
I think fathers should begin to teach their sons to allow their emotions to flow so people will get to respect our emotions. And the reason Johnny Depp went through what he went through was because the wife felt nobody's going to believe you. That was what she said. I think mothers and fathers should learn that these men too, these boys that are going to be men, have emotions. They go through a lot of things. And our friends, our peers also contribute a lot. Sometimes you're hurting, you can't tell your friends because if you do tell them, they're going to laugh at you. So because of that, you're holding a lot. And that's why the cases of uh, BB's uh, uh, situation is really high on men. And I hope that the world will begin to look at men. I also understand that as much as you need attention to the female, you also need to put attention to them. You can't tell a, a boy when he's growing up that, ah, if this thing burns you because of, of a man, you cannot shout, you cannot scream. No, I think we need to scrap all of that and uh, maybe retrain the trainers. Yeah. You know, we, 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 I, I, sometimes I look at my children and I learn from them every day. They kind of teach me and I learn, and I learn how to connect with them. I also learn how to talk with them as well. But at the same time, I still am that tough daddy who's cool. But I also express to my son that it's okay for you to cry sometimes. Yes, you don't always cry, but then you cry sometimes because it, 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 it eases you off. And I think that's I, a I very don't... important uh, conversation to have because yes. in this month we're looking at men's mental health. So we're going to, going to be going further. We'll be going further into these conversations about men showing emotions. It's important to show emotions, you know. So thank you very much for telling your son that it's okay for him to cry. It doesn't make him less masculine in any way. Let's very quickly talk about some of the things that we need to values that we need to instill in our young boys you know you you're, you are the first mentor that your son sees the first mentor yeah. he sees on how to be a man some of us talk about our childhood trauma and some of the things that we feel like our parents should have done differently because they didn't know better they did the best that they could so what are some of the things you think we should correct in our time and some of the values we should instill in our young boys very quickly please all right, quickly, I'll say this. Uh, everybody will say communication, but I usually say it's not just communication, but understanding that the child, the son, understands the language that you're using for him. Sometimes the communication is body, body language. They read body language more than your words. So how you, re how you relate to their mothers or how you relate to the women around you is more important than the things you say to the child. I realized that I, I, I remember a lot more of what my dad was doing more than what he was saying to me. So these are the things I think we should, you know, express a little bit of uh, attention to your wife when you're at home with your children. They, they will learn a little bit more from there. How you react to your mother, how you react to your sisters, how you react to your own mother, that's how your son is going to grow up to be. I think it's just uh, like practical. You're seeing practical, you're a science student, you understand that it's easier when you when you they are practicalizing these things for you more than when it's theoretical. So I think the children will pick up a little bit faster when the language is plain for them to see. Uh, I think that's how I see it. I don't know if I made sense, but- Too much sense. In my head. Too much right, sense. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Jude Thomas Dawam. Thanks for speaking with us. And of course, once again, happy Father's Day. Uh, we wish you a great weekend. Thank you weekend. so much for having me. And I'm still holding you on my fish. I got you. And I'm, please, I'm interested <laughs> in the fish conversation of air. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a men's you. fish conversation. Okay. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Jude. <laughs> Thank you. Now, of course.